Hi, welcome to another video. So today, I want to talk about Gemini 3 Pro. I mean, a checkpoint of Gemini 3 Pro is now available in Google's AI Studio. You may ask how. Well, if you go to AI Studio and select Gemini 2.5 Pro, then send a message. Sometimes you can encounter an A-B test. This A-B test allegedly gives you Gemini 3.0 Flash at times, and sometimes Gemini 3.0 Pro. You can check this in the network logs and find a checkpoint ID. The checkpoint ID starting with 2HT is said to be 3.0 Pro. So, I tested this model painstakingly on my 13 general questions. The only issue was that it took me quite a long time because the correct checkpoint for Gemini 3.0 Pro only appears like once in 50 prompts that you send. So, this was a pain, but I did all the tests, and man, it's so good. So, let's get into it, and let me show you the results. First of all, we've got the floor plan. This is one of the most insane generations that I've seen yet. Like, it's really insane. So, check this out. This is the most sensible generation I've seen so far from any model. Look at this. Here, you've got the entry, and then the living room is correctly placed. You've got the kitchen and dining area here, and then the door spaces are also right there. One thing it messed up is that it put the washroom at the front of the room, and you'd have to go through the washroom to get into the room, which isn't great. So yeah, it's still one of the most sensible generations yet. Moving forward, we get the SVG Panda with a burger. It looks pretty great. You see the burger, which looks amazingly good. And the Panda also interacts with it really well in this generation, which is pretty great. Then, we've got the Pokeball built with 3.js, and it's also one of the best, if not the best, generations I have seen yet. It looks so damn good, and the lighting also works really well. These are all one-shot generations, which is awesome. Then, we've got the autoplay chess game. And just look how good it looks, and how well it works. This is also the first model that I have seen that doesn't use the purple and blue colors, which is awesome. The model training data seems to be super highly curated to remove that, because it doesn't do that at all from my little tests that I have done, but this is also really good. I am really impressed. This is also the first model to make like a proper chessboard with pieces placed at top when a piece is eliminated. So that's great. Then we've got the Minecraft game in Kandinsky style with trees and everything. And this looks pretty good. It's the best generation for this prompt that I've seen yet. The FPS of this game is also great, so it's really performant. It's just mind-boggling to me how good these generations are turning out to be. Then we've got the butterfly flying in the garden simulation. Well, it's really good, but not the best generation. GPT-5 is better in this area, but I'd have to run this three to four times, and I think I could have gotten better results. Then we also got the CLI tool for image conversion, and it was also good, but not the best. Then we got the Blender script for making a Pokeball, and well, just look at this. It looks really good. And you can see that it didn't just make the ball, but also set up the lighting and the camera. And you can see the lighting being reflected correctly, giving it a great look. Only Opus is at the level of being this good, and this is even better than that. After this, I tried some AIME questions and one very simple riddle. It aced every one of them. You can see that it aces the AME question in one shot, a test that even takes GPT-5, 3, or 4 tries. Another question was also aced by this. Sonnet doesn't pass this either, even with max thinking. The riddle was obviously crushed by this as well. So, this model scores the number one position on my leaderboard 
by a wide margin of a 25% improvement over Sonnet 4.5. Now, this doesn't mean that we'll see this exact model. We may see an improved version, or maybe even a toned-down quantized version, because there used to be a Zenith checkpoint of GPT-5 that a lot of people tested when it was in an A-B test, and that model hasn't been shipped yet. It was really good. I think this model is going to be the pro model, and for this, I'd gladly pay the price that Sonnet charges, because this is genuinely better. It is probably a thinking variant, but it doesn't show the thinking traces. Still, I'm pretty sure this is a thinking model, because it takes a while to give the first token in a slash B tests. So yeah, there's that. I'm just hoping that this model is super good in tool calling, making it usable across tools, because the 2.5 Pro was a bit of an issue there, even though it was a great model itself. I checked the token counts and calculated the price at the same rate as Sonnet, because I think this will be a pricey model. And well, it aces the price to performance chart for me. Now, this might be something like Gemini 3 Ultra as well, but I think the Ultra models have been discontinued. So, I don't think this would be that. I think this would be the Pro version, priced similarly to Sonnet. And I get that, because the performance seems really great here, and I wouldn't mind that price. If it goes any higher than the Sonnet price, then it'll be an interesting proposition. I think if we get this checkpoint in a model of Gemini 3, it would be a real breakthrough. It's so good. It seems like a major upgrade compared to what we saw with 4 Sonnet and others. Probably a real upgrade after 3.5 Sonnet. Let's see. It should also be multimodal, I believe. Their team has been working really hard, considering that Gemini CLI is getting some great upgrades. Jules is getting awesome updates. AI Studio's app generator is also really impressive. And overall, they're just superior as a product compared to Anthropics or OpenAI's offerings. The only thing limiting these products right now is the model, and Gemini 3 will really resurrect all of them by a lot. So, we'll see about that. That's majorly about it. When I was testing it, I honestly thought the performance wouldn't be that good, and I wouldn't make a video about it. But the performance was so different that I just had to make this video. You can also check it out. Just rerun your prompts until you see the A-B test, and you'll probably get this model. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.